Hi, my name is Rachel Ewens. I'm a mobile strategist and I run the app blog ladyappapp.com. And today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics and that is apps that'll help you keep track of places you've visited. Now there's several that can do it. There's some that are a little more passive and will exist in the background, kind of recording where you're going. And then there's some that are a little more active where you actually have to check into the place or document that you were there. So we'll explore both of those and see how we can document where we've been. So first I wanna talk about the little more passive methods. Now for some people these can be kind of creepy because what it's actually doing is using your phone's GPS to track you. Um, but if you're aware of what's happening, it's, it's really kind of fun. So the app I like to use is one called Google Latitude. It's actually run by Google. Looks like this. You can search it in the app store under the word Latitude, L-A-T-I-T-U-D-E, like attitude. What Google Latitude lets you do is actually open an account and it tracks you via your GPS. Um, what's really neat is you can go online and see a map where you've been all the time. It's constantly tracking you. So actually what I can do here is backtrack. I've been in the same place for a little bit now, but uh, I can actually backtrack and go around the city to see all the places I've been. What's neat with this also is you can hook up with friends and actually see all the places they've been. Um, to kind of mitigate the creepy factor of this, Google will actually periodically send you emails to remind you that you've enabled this and allowed it to track you. Um, but it's pretty neat. You can see kind of where you've been online. There's another, pa uh, another app that will also do this well. It's new and it's called Open Paths. Um, but what I want to explore next is kind of the more manual way to do it. And one of the best apps to do this with, and one that's been around for a long time now, is Foursquare. I love Foursquare. I'm a big fan of it. It operates under the idea of checking in, so it's not going to be passive like the Google Attitude we just looked at. Rather than tracking everywhere you go automatically, you actually have to kind of register those in. So you do it by checking in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this little button right up here in the corner, and it's going to pull up a list of places that are near me. This is actually where I am right now. So what I can do is click it and I can check in. I can share that on Facebook. Um, so for me, I can document all the places I've been. It's really easy for me to look back at all the restaurants and all the shows I've been to. Um, if you're not interested in doing Foursquare, you can actually do this really easily via your Facebook as well. So on my Facebook profile, kind of in the lower right, just before you get to my timeline, you'll see a button that says check in. It's just like we just checked in on Foursquare. So I'm gonna hit that. And again, it'll kind of open places that are near me or I can actually search places. Again, this is where we are. And it'll post that to my Facebook profile and it'll actually kind of keep track on a map on my Facebook profile of all the places I've been. So whether you're going the passive route or you're going the more active checking in route, this is great ways to keep track of all the places you've been with your iPhone.